I'm the commander of the Marder. When I'm not in the turret as a commander, I'm a squad leader when we dismount. Is the infantry fighting vehicle Marder in the version 1A5. This one is one of the latest models from the Marder. It's one of many technology improvements and fighting improvements, one of the latest models. The 1A3 is basically the same model as the 1A5. The difference between the 1A3 and the 1A5 is the mine protection from the bottom, which is under the infantry fighting vehicle, is an improvement in system for anti-tank. As well, you've got a higher protection from the sides and from the rear. That's basically the main or the more protection which came from A3 to A5. On the inside, and is an improvement for example, cameras for the driver, optronics for the gunner and the commander. So we have a 20 mm gun, which is able to fire two types of ammunition. We have the armor piercing ammunition and the high explosive ammunition. And the 7.62 machine gun. And for anti-tank, you have the melt system, which is part of the spike family. Basically the engine is the same. The difference between the A3 and the A5 model is the weight. The A3 had a maximum weight of 37 tons and this model has a maximum weight of 42 tons. The maximum speed reward and forward on road is 60 km per hour and in field for example up to 40. You have three people on the front, the driver, the gunner and the commander and at the rear you've got a squad of six. The main differences from the Marder and the Puma is the age, so to say. The Marder is a quite old infantry fighting vehicle, but with improvements. So it's more or less able to fit in the right place on today's operations. Main pro of the Puma is the turret with a 30mm gun. The biggest feature of the gun is it's a stable gun. Stays where you aim, no matter on how the environment or how difficult the track gets. The main pro from the Marder is that if the electric systems have a mail function, for example, you are able to stay in combat. So you're able to work with your gun and with your turret and with your driving. Firing range is more or less the same. So we talk about up to a thousand meters for fighting vehicles, for example, other infantry fighting vehicles and up to 2000 meters with high explosive ammunition.